Halo semuanya, ketemu lagi di blog saya. Untuk blog kali ini saya akan menyampaikan pengalaman pribadi saya nih di pembicara di acara Indo Today Permias Ohio University. Permias ini adalah persatuan mahasiswa Indonesia di Amerika Serikat. Acara Indo Today ini dilaksanakan pada 5 Oktober yang lalu di Ohio University dan dalam kesempatan itu saya menyampaikan presentasi terkait dengan perjuangan Indonesia dalam melakukan pengendalian terhadap konsumsi rokok atau tembakau presentasi ini dalam bahasa Inggris namun saya sertakan juga dalam videonya subtitle dalam bahasa Indonesia untuk poin-poin yang penting untuk itu selamat menyaksikan semoga bermanfaat Before I involved in tobacco control, I used to see uh, smoking as a uh, normal activity because all my family, all my friends are smokers. So everybody is smoking. So so you are the non-smokers is very a uh, very uh, yeah great. <laughs> as you know, I can uh, smoking is very uh, harmful because it's uh, poisonous and carcinogenic, make you uh, get cancer. And this is the And also, it's not only uh, harmful for the smokers, but only for people who surround them. In the world globally, there are five million per year uh, die from smoking. And if we don't do anything, we will be eight million per year in 2000 uh, in 2030. And in 20 percent, there will be one billion uh, people uh, die from. Smoking. So smoking is not only harmful for uh, health, but also for economy. As like we we know, uh, this is data from 2003 and 2010 in Indonesian poor uh, household. Smoking is second expenses for for a poor household who has smokers. So the first one they buy for price, and then the second one is smoking. After smoking, then you can. Think about me, fish, education, and health. So this is to illustrate uh, how much poor people spend for smoking, and then how much they uh, spend for other expense. Smoking is one uh, 11 times of me, and six times education, and five times for health. So this is uh, Indonesian national status. We have one third smokers. Uh, one of three people in Indonesia are smoking, but for male, two of three males. <laughs> so non-smoker is very, very rare. 66% <laughs> is also account as the highest percentage of men smoking in the world. So Indonesia is the champion of men smokers in the world in terms of prevalence. You see this red? This red is a uh, female smoker. So we have to uh, increase we have spoken from 2% to 7% so it's triple in every week, every year there are 200 actually the exact number is 200, 200 and more people per year smoking a uh, death related to smoking and it accounts for 558 per day women is the next target women are become increasing so this is uh, because I, in uh, tobacco industry everywhere always target uh, you smoking initiation from uh, 95 to 2013 before they used uh, start smoking in 15 to 19 it's a uh, high school year there's a trend that uh, they try to smoke in every earlier age so this is it down on the, uh, the later years 
because they all died? <laughs> no, 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 no. Is, it, is it the initiation? So oh, okay, they, okay, okay, okay. they start smoking in what age? I mean, if you can, if you can uh, not smoking until 2020, so very little uh, possibility you can be, you will be a smoker. Uh, do, do we have a regulation for like yeah, in what age uh, that we legally uh, smoke in Indonesia? Like, Indonesia actually uh, don't have any regulation. Maybe like here, you can, you have to ask uh, for ID, uh, ID if yeah. you want to buy Indonesia. But in Indonesia, if I have a kid, so I will ask oh. him oh, yeah. to yeah. buy <laughs> uh, cigarettes. Yeah. You can easily think, get it. Tobacco <clears throat> recruits youth almost 5 million per year or 11, almost 11 thousand per day. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is the this is viral. viral. Uh, this is a video that and in, in America it's very very famous. This is a uh, two years old smoking for one and a half hours per, per day. Because his mother smoking six cigarettes per day when he is uh, when she is pregnant. So he is addicted since he is uh, still in in the womb. In <laughs> so <laughs> this is also oh my god. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people smoking in front of the. Uh, <clears throat> so what is the problem? The problem, the first one is because uh, government itself is reluctant to regulate uh, as strict as possible to tobacco industry. Tobacco industry have many. So much, uh, yeah, money. Money. Yeah. This is what Tobacco Asia is. It is the best exhibition mm -hmm. or the biggest exhibition of tobacco industry in the world. This kind of exhibition is, is yeah. rejected everywhere. Mm -hmm. But Indonesia will come. Mm -hmm. So they do the exhibition in Indonesia in 2012 and then 2013 and 2014. And what they mentioned in, the, in this uh, like, uh, what is it, brochure that Indonesia is friendly market in smoking bands, different from other countries. And they target ter another 30 million smokers in Pacific. So if you find a, a country that have more than 30 million, so it will be Indonesia. This is the, the list of a country that has not signed or ratified the LCTC. LCTC is a global treaty in tobacco control, so Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. So I mentioned this one, uh, this, uh, the Indonesian uh, cigarette is very cheap. You can buy cigarette per per stick. One cent. One cent. Only one cent per cigarette. The other uh, factor discussed is tobacco industry interference. The assessment from Siapka Siapka is Southeast Asia Tobacco Control based in Thailand. They assess the ASEAN countries' uh, tobacco interference, and Indonesia is their second after the Philippines. So it's very vulnerable to tobacco industry interference. Why did they become so powerful? Because Three of ten richest Indonesian are tobacco owned, tobacco industry owners. Indonesia also the last frontier of tobacco war. If they go to China, China have many smokers. If they are dominated or very close market because China have like a state owned enterprise in tobacco. While the other countries regulately more stricter than Indonesia. So Indonesia is the the destination. In developed country, tobacco regulation is very strict. They move to developing countries and Asia Pacific. They move to Indonesia. But Indonesia is a very specific and unique uh, market. Because Indonesia is dominated by Krapex cigarettes. Krapex cigarettes is clove cigarette. So you use tobacco and also use spices. You use... Uh, uh, in the 90s, in 90s, Indonesia is 90% market of clove cigarettes. So, when Philip Morris sell, when uh, BAT sell, they cannot compete with Sampurna, with the Dangaram, and other uh, local local. They try to penetrate with cannot in the 90s, in after 2000. They finally succeeded to buy Indonesian local uh, industry. They bought Sampurna, Philip Morris bought Sampurna for, for 5.2 billion. I think it's still uh, the highest acquisition uh, company in Indonesia. And then in, in 2009, they bought, the Biate bought another uh, big tobacco 
and also CTNG and this year Japan by uh, subsidiary of Gudang Garam they really good have a good performance you see this one in 1998 Sampurna is the third market share but after 25 they bought by Phil Morris since they have like uh, advertisement uh, budget very 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 big and if you Indonesian maybe if you uh, see the television you know the Gang Hijau advertisement and etc. Sampurna outperform all the Indonesian local become the leading market with 35% uh, market and this is actually account for 73 uh, percent of uh, uh, local market it means that actually Indonesian market is only dominated by these six companies uh, Sampurna about 48 trillion rupiah but in one year they they have a profit for 10 trillion so in one in five years all the investments have come back so the profit in market the bigger control is like uh, David has Goliath. We don't have money, we don't have like uh, many resources and we have to fight the 10 billion profit one year. So this is the fight. The tobacco epidemic should be uh, uh, regulated or we have to kill the factor. The factor is tobacco industry who uh, yeah, make the product and make people uh, suffer. This is actually the tobacco control network in Indonesia. It is a religious background and then also consumer protection and then also public uh, health practitioner, human rights activists, uh, advocate, academician, and uh, also student association. Itulah uh, presentasi saya. Memang uh, ada beberapa PowerPoint yang terhapus atau tidak terekam, tapi uh, tidak mengurangi inti dari pesan yang saya sampaikan dalam presentasi tersebut bahwa memang e, perjalanan atau perjuangan untuk mengendalikan konsumsi rokok di Indonesia masih sangat jauh dan e, banyak tantangan tapi e, saya yakin bahwa kita bisa menjadi negara yang bisa mengendalikan konsumsi rokok dengan efektif terima kasih diberikanlah vlog saya kali ini semoga bermanfaat dan membantu jika anda punya masukan apa tema apa yang perlu saya cover dalam blog selanjutnya silahkan sampaikan uh, di kolom komentar atau bisa kirim email atau kasih komentar di blog saya ataupun di blog ini dan juga jangan lupa untuk uh, subscribe klik dan share atau berkomentar ya, blog vlog video-video yang ada dalam blog saya terima kasih sampai jumpa lagi Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum dan bye bye.